hi welcome back to my youtube channel yeah i'm on low cost and this is how i look naturally if you are new here my name is busari Mulayo and i'm a registered nurse based in nigeria today's video is going to be a vlog i have a radio interview with don bosco online radio today by 2 pm i'm going to be talking about the educational system in nigeria and i want to take you guys through the process so i'm about to go and get dressed so once i'm dressed i'll come back and then we'll go to the interview together stay on the youtube channel with me if you are new please don't forget to click on the subscribe button turn on your notifications so you don't miss any video from me and like share bye guys okay guys so i'm dressed i'm ready your girl is doing her best to represent i'm not wearing makeup because one is a radio interview so i don't think it's necessary two i suck at makeup so i think it's best i go with my natural face right yeah so i'm going to take a few pictures gonna show you the place show you the presenter and every other thing so girls let's get right into it all right guys so i'm on my way to the place ah, it's really weird vlogging for the first time people on my street are looking at me like what what is this girl saying to her phone so i'm going to the radio station it's a bit far from my area though so i'm going to have to take a bike yeah i can't drive i don't have a car so <laughs> i don't take bike i take my road but anyway i'm going to get there so once I get there, I'm just going to like show you guys around the place, show you how I look. I've not been able to um, take pictures because there's no one to stop me at home. I would have asked my mom to stop me, but so this is just me talking you guys through my journey to the station. I'm almost to get to the station. I'll let you guys know. So bye. Station. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. It's a radio station. Hmm? Radio station. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Okay, sir. Alright, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, Okay, sir. Okay, Okay, sir. Okay, walking to the radio station it's actually an online radio and it's owned by i think the roman catholic church it's called don bosco here in Accra on those days so you don't need a transistor radio or to log into one fm or am station to listen to them it's just an online radio you click on their link and then you can get whatever it is you're talking about the don bosco, don bosco also has um an health center it's a church dance groups and so many other things basically so i think i'm going to enjoy my interview or my stay here guys so let's go So this is the station. Meet my presenter. And please please say hi to the camera. Hello guys. Hello guys. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the station. I think I'm going to be sitting there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
All right, good day to all our listeners and viewers from all over the world. It is 2 p.m. Nigerian time, and you're welcome to Dambasco Online Radio, DBOR. This is Dambasco Online Radio, and the program is Green Angle, where I, your man, M-C-B-R-E-E-Z-E-M-R-C. You call me MC Breeze, because I am the Prince of the King of Kings, you know what it is? Whenever it's 2 p.m. Nigerian time, every Tuesday, it's time to join me on our program. Green Angle, where we tell you, no matter how bad things might seem, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, there's always a greener pasture, and there's always a better way to look at every problem. Today on the program, we are sorry for starting behind schedule, which is because of uh, the little rancor that's happening here in Accra. Uh, for those of you who are conversant with the online and with the media, and those of you who are uh, very, very opportune to be conversant with the news and happenings around, you would know that there was a clash earlier today uh, in town and on those states, uh, engaging the NURTW Nigerian Union of Road Traffic Workers and uh, taxi drivers, uh, but that has been uh, settled by the law enforcement agencies. But Long and short of it is that we're sorry for starting behind schedule. You know, this is Dumbo's Call and Radio. And what we do is we free your mind. What does free stand for? We form, we recreate, we educate, and we entertain your mind. You can catch us on any social media platform. On Dumbo's School, we are on Instagram, beg your pardon. We are Dumbo's Call and Radio. On Instagram, Dumbo's Call and Radio. On Facebook, Dumbo's Call Radio Nigeria. And on Twitter, we are Dumbo's Call underscore radio. Today, we are discussing a very interesting topic because youths from all over the world have been asking that uh, since we have been making it through some other means, since we have been making it through a cryptocurrency, since we have been making it through some other skills that we have, is it even necessary anymore to go to school? And I have done other in the studio today to discuss this with me. She's a very beautiful lady. She's a very pretty lady. She's a young lady as such, and she's also making it from other skills apart from the uh, conventional education that she went to school to attain a certificate for. She's going to be introducing herself any moment from now, but uh, before then, I'd like us to listen a little more to the song by Ronti called Iwiki Ko. We'll be right back. This is the Ambassador Line Radio. The program is Green Angle, and the topic is, is educational system. The educational system in Nigeria, is it very much necessary any longer? We'll be right back, and uh, don't go nowhere. Listeners from all over the world, I was running with the song Iweki Ko. Uh, that song is aimed and uh, geared towards encouraging youths to go into agriculture, not just uh, the conventional education we go to school to attain a certificate for. And thank God I'm a farmer in the making. Mm -hmm. I'm studying a course related to agriculture. So Ronti is my ambassador. All right, uh, ma'am, can we meet you? You're welcome to Green Angle. Thank you very much, Andrew Fizi. My name is Busari Imoliayo. I'm a registered nurse, registered midwife, and I also possess a bachelor's degree in nursing science. Besides that, I'm an entrepreneur. I own a brand registered under the Corporate Affairs Commission of the Federal Republic of Nigeria under the name The Golden Pain Academy. I offer online tutorial services for student nurses, as well as writing services in terms of research papers, seminars, and anything you can think of as far as nursing is concerned. On a lazy day, I'm a content creator, I'm a YouTuber, and I do a little bit of graphic designing as well as video editing. Thank you. Did you hear what she said? On a lazy day, she's a content cre content creation that some people used to make thousands of dollars. She said, on a lazy day, I'm a content. Oh God, pride will not kill us. <laughs> 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 all right, uh, listeners and viewers from all over the world, if you are listening to us by the audio platform, which is dbr.org, you can come on the Facebook platform, which is Dambasco Radio Nigeria, to see the face of this lady who is speaking and is dropping everything like it's hot. All right, uh, please, I'd like you to take it slow and steady now. Okay. So maybe we just have... <laughs> now let us hear you clear and sound. Okay. All right. Who are you and what do you do? Okay, my name is Busari Imoliayo, just like I said earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm a registered nurse, a registered midwife, that's a post basic qualification. Mm -hmm. I also have a bachelor's degree in nursing science. Aside that, I'm an entrepreneur. I own a brand which is registered under the Corporate Affairs Commission of the Federal Republic of Nigeria under the name the Goldie Pen Academy. And what we do is we offer online tutorial services for student nurses and midwives. We also help them out in putting together their write-up in terms of research, seminar, client care, and any other nursing-related article. Okay. And aside from that, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a content creator, I do a little bit of graphic designing as well as video editing. Wow, wow. There's this a, a lot of things in the bag all in one person. And uh, i like to give kudos to you because it's not easy to house all those things in one same body. Mm -hmm. 
thank you very much for that uh, introduction and enlightenment as to who you are. But uh, one thing I picked out of all what you said was that you have a bachelor's degree in nursing science, right? Yes. All right, so that means you must have attended a, a, a particular Saturday of knowledge yes. and learning. Yes. So uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about your educational background before we go straight into the topic of today? Well, educational background, I had my primary school in Ondo State Akure at All Saints, Anglican Primary School. I attended um, Fiwashaye Girls Grammar School Akure here, which is a very popular secondary school for girls alone. Mm -hmm. And I would say I was one, um, one of the lucky ones because I was opportune to have my university education in a private university, which is Achivas University. So are, are you saying to someone that now attend states. private university now are not lucky? Is that what you're trying to no, say? No, 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 no. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking at the way things are. Okay, right now. how are things now? Like COVID. Those in government school automatically got an extra year, while those of us in private schools, we were having our lectures online, induction and graduation were going on online. Mm -hmm. That was what I, that was what I said. Lucky um, ones. Lucky ones. All right, you said you attended one university again? Achievers University. Oh, yeah. University. All right. University. Oh, yes. yeah. Now, uh, you mentioned a number of skills that you have, and I would like to ask, uh, was it while in school you uh, grabbed the skills or were, were the skills imbibed after you left the walls of learning, the four walls of learning? Uh, for me, I would say some were inborn and some I had to learn them while in school. Please shed more light on this. Okay, for the act of talking, being a YouTuber and all that, I think it's something I've been doing since I was a kid. I've always been the type that wants to out, be out debating, Exciting point, action drama, and so many other things. In second school, I actually led the drama and literary debating society of my school. So, and I was socially prepared while graduating. So, it's something like that's been there. But as for writing, I think I had to learn it when I got a laptop and I started teaching myself how to write, how to use a system. From there, I learned how to do mobile editing for pictures. Then I moved on to use my laptop for mobile editing then I took classes from some of my juniors, some of my seniors, my colleagues and people around me and I started picking up every little thing I could okay. learn then I put it together to make one whole thing. And all these things happened while you were still an undergraduate? Yes, most of it. So that begs me to ask this question, how was the experience like? Because I know so many people in the health sector used to apply themselves with uh, we are studying the hard course, we are studying medicine, we are studying nursing and here is someone who studied nursing and was still able to have the time to do all this that you just mentioned. So the question again, how were the experiences like combining education and your skill well as an undergraduate? Personally I would say this was very 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 tough despite the um, misconception that those of us in private universities we always have things easy but for me it wasn't anywhere near easy when i came in i was 58 kilograms and i was graduating i was 48 kilograms meaning that i lost a total of 10 kilograms in weight for you to have known the amount of stress i went through so I you think 10 kg is too much to lose for five years 10 kg is not healthy to lose uh, okay, I don't because know. I was not overweight when I was coming uh, into I, I, I know, I'm sorry, lost. I'm so, sorry. to be honest, is that medical courses are very tough. Okay. And nursing, to me, seems to be one of the toughest because the way the um, syllabus is structured, whatever you learn in 200 level, maybe your question for 500 level second semester. So, they don't expect you to, to forget. forget anything. Then your university um, exams is different from your council exam. So you could be coming with a CGPA of 4.9 in school and if you cannot score 50 each in every paper for council exam, they won't give you a license. So they don't care if you are the best student in your school or the best student in your state, it doesn't matter to them. So you just have to keep, how do I put it, you have to keep getting your pass marks and make sure you are the top of your game anytime, any day. All right, Taiwo Olu Damilare or Shoale said, please help us increase the volume of your guests. Uh, I'm enjoying you guys. Thank you for joining us live. Please uh, make sure you comment, you like, and you share this video for others to uh, see as well. All right, uh, this uh, leads me to my next question. Um, combining all this, what effects do they have on your uh, academic performances? To me, I would say they had both positive effects and negative effects. I was learning a lot of things outside nursing science, but I was able to apply them to learning. I'm trying to look for a way I'll put it. Okay, I'm a content creator, fine. But most of the times I write papers for my classmates, for people that are within 
the profession, both my senior colleagues and my junior colleagues, okay. most of the things I write are still things within my niche. Okay. So while I am not studying, I'm reading like six hours like most of my mates, I was either writing a paper related to a topic that had not been taught or will soon be taught. So, so you already had the full knowledge exactly, in quotes. Okay. Exactly. So imagine I'm in 300 level and I'm writing a paper on diabetes, which I'll learn in 400 level. By the time I have the exam, even if I did not read that course or I did not read that topic, I'll easily transfer the knowledge from what I was doing while making money to the exam. So I'll make money and still pass. So it's a win-win situation. Uh, you did not answer my question directly. What effects it did it fair. have? Or your academic performance. Did you pass well with all this, or did you drop? Because some people say, ah, even now because of business, I was, I was supposed to graduate in first class. Ah. So, what did it have on your final graduation grade? Final graduation grade. I don't think it really had any effect because either I had business or not, I was always going to finish with a two one. So you were never going to have. <laughs> I was always going to finish with the two one because nothing like most times I just don't ex even the best graduate students in some schools in quote like the Oba. Our university, the OAU, there was, um, there was a man in my school, he finished from that school, the best student of 2017, and he still finished with 2 1. So it is more or less the norm in nursing to have little or no first class student graduating every set. So either I had business or I did not have business, the chances of finishing with the first class were still very, very slim. So I don't think it really had any negative effect. All right, we'll go on another short break right now. This is a song by Run Town titled Successful. We pray we all become successful now with your hands on. She has been successful so far, and we pray that uh, the next question we ask her, she will answer it successfully. All right, this is a song by Run Town Successful. Do enjoy. We'll be right back. listeners and viewers from all over the world that is successful by run town and we pray that uh we all will be successful all right uh, let's go straight to the next question um nurse molly Ayo, thank you for staying with us in the studio um so, the next question i'd like to ask you is what is your notion as touching uh the widespread um belief or the widespread uh topic conceptualization that since we are making it from other sources of uh income youths in nigeria are starting to uh undermine and downplay the uh essentiality and integrity of our uh, formal education as it were some are like the certificate is more or less useless so what is your own view as touching this scope and uh subject matter um from my own point of view i feel if you are going to school just to get the certificate you will get the certificate but if you're going to school to get educated you will get educated and also get the certificate. I think the mistake most um, students and youths are making is that they don't look beyond mm -hmm. what they can get in the four walls of the classroom. If you look at the school, a campus, a campus is not only made up of your classrooms. You mm -hmm. have different things in a campus. So you should know from that that the school is more than what you're going to get on a whiteboard or a blackboard. In the university. Okay. From my own point of view, I feel in school you're opportunity to meet with different kind of people who have had different types of experiences from different parts of the world. Mm. So if you more or less limit yourself to what you can learn in the classroom, then school would definitely be a scam because you do not um, fully utilize what the school was offering you. That's from my own point of view. Mm. So to you, was school very, very uh, helpful in making you who you are today? School was very, very helpful in making me who I am today because I met a lot of people, I learned a lot of things, both in class and outside classroom that I put together into whatever I have or whatever I am today by the grace of God. Take for example, there were friends that I met that they didn't reside in Mendo State or this part of the world, so they already brought some knowledge. Okay, maybe I should talk about what I learned in the classroom more than what I learned from people. Um, let's just say I learned so many, there are so many courses we did, we did MedSword, Foundation of Nursing and so many other courses that we would actually have to practicalize, you get my point. 
so i feel today i don't really need to start going somewhere looking for a nine to five job i can always open up a place and start my own private practice as a nurse i could open a nursing home i could um start treating people from house to house i could start making online private consults and all of that without having to take my cv to one company or one hospital to beg for a job though i know it's easier because i studied a professional course mm -hmm. now for <coughs> those that didn't study a professional course so to speak i think they need to start looking for ways of expanding their knowledge from that course take it, for example i've seen some girls that study biochemistry they study microbiology and once they were done mm -hmm. they transferred that knowledge into cream making they transferred knowledge into um, making uh, all these facial cleansers they started more like a body secret company or so or okay. a brand or so and they were transferring the knowledge they will use their notes in school to mix the chemicals to mix the herbs to mix so many other things but if you're expecting that paper you're carrying that certificate you're carrying mm -hmm. to be your ticket to getting everything i'm sorry even in the developed world it is not done that way so i don't now expect um nigerian certificate judging by the way the country is to now be your ticket to mm. getting money or making millions of stuff like that all right uh thank you very much for that uh, uh exposition and to all the youths and everyone listening and watching us from all over the world uh, let's get back to your brand you said you are you you had a brand called the golden pen if i'm academy, not mistaken yes. the golden pen academy so i would like to ask in time past what are the things you've done for yourself and also for people and uh, students in court using that brand as a point of contact well the brand is still quite young it's barely two years so i've not really done much but i'm still planning to do more presently i've tried my best to teach people how to write just that the turnout is always very very low because i feel people are busy in school and all i've tried to teach people how to write how to do little graphic um content how to make little video content and i'm actually planning a class very soon with the help of um sam j sam j actually subsidized the classes the classes were supposed to be um five thousand per participant but now sam j subsidized it to 500 naira 500 naira from five thousand yes 500 wow. naira per participant and what i'm going to be teaching i'm going to be teaching how to maximize the use of whatsapp which is actually to me the cheapest social media now that any business or any brand owner can use I'm going to teach how to use Instagram and WhatsApp to grow a large community. I more or less used WhatsApp to gather over 1,000 student nurses under 24 hours yesterday just inside my room without spending 5 naira or any cobble. So I'm going to be teaching people how to do that on their own and besides that I'm going to teach them how to edit pictures with their mobile phones alone because I know not everybody has a laptop. So I'm going to teach you how to make graphic content, edit pictures, move one picture from one background to another background and do so many um, funny and tricky things and resourceful things with your mobile phone. Finally, I'm going to be teaching mobile um, video editing. I'm going to teach you how to make um, transitions, clone yourself like all these comedians, then Taoma, the, um, um, I'm sorry, I'm not really conversant with comedians, but I know Taoma. Macaroni and the likes. Macaroni and the likes, exactly. So I'm going to teach you how to clone yourself into videos that you have like five or six, seven of yourself Twice. in one video. Okay. So I'm going to teach you all that aside WhatsApp, Instagram, business growth and mobile editing. So the class is, I think, five and a is enough. It's not enough to buy Shalama. Mm -hmm. So I think that is it. Subsequently, I'm going to teach you other things, but that is the project I'm working on for now. And uh, when do you plan to start this project in yours? Um... Preparations are ongoing. I intend to have the program on 12th and 13th of this month, but it might extend further than those two days because of the bulk of things I want to teach because I want them to get it. I want to have a return demonstration from the participants where they will edit some pictures I'll see, they'll edit a few videos I'll see and I'll be able to correct so that we know that we find the class was actually successful. Alright, thank you very much for that and uh, we hope that the program becomes a success. Our time is fast spent so we'd like to move straight to the last set of questions. Um, We'd like to ask you, uh, what is your general advice to youths and uh, People who have watched us today have learned from you, but still are uh, of the doubt that I don't need to go to school, Joe. School is not school now scam. I know they do What's your advice to people like that? My advice is that you should um, look at the way that someone who didn't go to school would do something and the way someone who has gone to school would do something. And you should try to see that difference. That difference is what you need to succeed. 
The same way someone that went to school would sell toothpick is going to be different from the way someone who is not educated will sell toothpick. Why you see the educated one making a very attractive package for just toothpick and would hype that to the point that you end up buying that toothpick for $10 then you see someone who is not educated will just roll it up in a dirty nylon cell thinking that it's not more than toothpick and just take, take it for 5 cents or something like that the knowledge that an educated person has cannot be overlooked so either the certificate is going to get you a direct job with a company or not you still need that knowledge you still need that education no matter what all right thank you very much for coming today on the program and we hope any other time we call you're going to be obliging us all right my viewers and all my listeners from all over the world i say something whenever i come on my program i say if you cannot do something small in a big way then the big things will surely catch you off guard so whatever small thing you'll find do it do it with all judicious approach ladies and gentlemen this is where we're going to be joining the curtain today on dambasco line radio you know you can catch us on any social media platform on facebook we are dambasco radio nigeria on instagram we are dambasco line radio and on twitter we are dambasco underscore radio i am mcbreazid on the mrc you call me mc breeze because i am the prince to the king of kings and you know what it is you can catch me on any social media platform at mc underscore b-r-e-e-z-e-y mc underscore breeze on any social media platform and if anybody wants to catch you on any social media platform how can they do that okay my company is on instagram as d underscore golden underscore pen underscore academy and we're on youtube we have a youtube channel where we post um tutorials for student nurses and we're on youtube as d golden pen all in block letters but if you want to contact me personally my Instagram page is girl underscore like underscore light. And you can catch me on Twitter at moleku601. Thank you. All right. Till next time when I bring another person to talk about another Susan topic, another salient topic in Nigeria. I end with the song of Ronti as I say, God bless Nigeria. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. The interview is over. Hey, your girl is going back home. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram or any other handle you're seeing plugged in throughout the video. So guys, catch you in my next video. Bye bye.